you know, God will never leave you nor forsake you. And that message is for all ages, all financial classes. It's a message for all, and one that is heard by those who regularly visit our Daily Bread Soup Kitchen. 25 years ago, the soup kitchen opened in Lima, and as Jennifer reports, the purpose and plan of this downtown ministry is to feed body, mind, and spirit. It's a Thursday in late May at our Daily Bread Community Center on Central Street in Lima. The parking lot is full, and that only tells a partial story of all who are inside. Walkers, bicyclists, motorists, and more are gathering to break bread together. This Lima area soup kitchen has been in operation since 1991. Last year we served 39,501 meals. Uh, that's average about 158 through the days that we're open. And that starts out at the beginning of the month we can have 86 to 90 people. And then by the end of the month, you were looking at 200, 230, 240 sometimes, especially in the summertime when the kids are out of school. Randy Kimple and Scott Catlett serve as co-directors at Our Daily Bread. 25 years ago, when the soup kitchen opened, it was to fill a need in this community. Now, a quarter century later, this nonprofit organization continues to fill that need. For many, this has been a regular place of gathering for a long time. For Catlett, he's been here seven years. It just happened to be my 51st birthday on August 16th when I went out to church. And for some reason, I felt compelled to go to the altar that day. And I said, Lord, you know, if you make it clear to me what it is you want me to do, I will go and do it. Wherever you send me, I'll go. Whatever you ask me to do, I'll do. And uh, within three minutes, I was approached by a friend from the church who I didn't know was affiliated with the board of directors here at this time and uh, said that uh, I was the first person God put on his heart to see if I'd be interested. The position had just opened up. That friend at the altar was Don McClure, a board member for Our Daily Bread from 2007 to 2015. McClure says there are so many reasons why this ministry is serving the needs in our community. You and I, we can go to the grocery store and we can buy food and make a meal. But we've got folks here, there's no grocery store within walking distance. And a lot of people walk to our daily bread or ride a bike. And so you're not gonna get three bags of groceries on a bike. But that food need is just one reason. Our daily bread is open Monday through Friday from 10 to 3, 12 months out of the year. Five days a week, patrons can look forward to a nutritious meal, but that's only the start of what they receive. It just, not only is it feeding, but I, I feel that the ministry part of our daily bread is even more important because it's make a connection with people, establishing a, a friendship and a relationship with them. And that way they're more in, in touch to uh, any other. They come to us for different advice. Once they learn to trust us, a lot of people come to us for advice and then we're able to point them in the direction that they need to go. To. We start each day with a scripture reading and a devotion because we want to feed their bodies because that takes a care of an immediate need, but we're interested in their spiritual need, which is eternal. A lot of times in society, some of them are just not a part of regular society, so to speak. Here they can come, they're, they're part of the place. You know, and, and that alone, you can see a change in people once they come here and find us. Uh, and it's also a place for people to serve God. It's, it's, uh, you know, there's, it's a unique place to serve God because uh, you, know, you can do a food pantry and you pass food out to people that come through, but here you can spend an hour and, and just sharing stories and you know, just, just talking to people and, and sharing God's word with them too. Maybe it's that level of relationship building that keeps the volunteers coming back. Churches, businesses, and on this particular day, the ONU nursing program, corporations, all recognizing that it's valuable to be involved with our daily bread. We still have a lot of folks like Ford and St. Rita's and other people in the community that are coming in and, and helping us. And it, it's not just the average Joe, it's the top brass of these organizations are coming in too. So they see things and they ask, what do you need? And you know, they can open up doors that we never believed had a door to them. God is in charge of our daily bread. And as we have a need, God brings us people that help us reach out 
to our community. Uh, we had Steve Jenkins, who was a tremendous personal uh, public relations person. He got us out into new areas. So when he does that, more people start coming in saying, how can I help our daily bread? What, what do you need to get to our daily bread to the next level? And what is the next level? A storage building located to the rear of the soup kitchen property is just about complete. And there are other plans that the directors would like to see become reality as well. We're hoping to be able to install a shower uh, for people that don't have the water in their house or they may not have the gas bill paid, so they don't have hot water. We'd like to expand our bathroom a little bit. We only have one, one stool in the men's room. Well, we got more men than we have women, so that gets a little waiting, waiting line sometimes. It started in 1991, the brainchild of 18 churches. Today, it continues to prosper thanks to the many who believe in this ministry and the continual faithfulness of our Heavenly Father. Congratulations to Our Daily Bread Soup Kitchen and Community Center, celebrating 25 years of changing lives, one meal at a time. For more information on the needs of Our Daily Bread, visit their website, odbread.org, or call 419-224-2086, or stop by during open hours at their location, 125 South Central Avenue in Lima.